How do you figure out what you're going to write about? In this lesson, you will generate a storyline by making a web of middle slash end ideas and choosing the one you can picture best in your head. Let's review. This is the prompt that we're doing. Imagine that one day during recess, you and a friend stumble across a wooden box hidden under some leaves. The, prompt, the box has a lock on it and appears to be very old. Write a story that tells what happens next. We also figured out that we're going to have to do two things to answer this prompt. We're going to have to imagine and we're going to have to write a story, a narrative. Okay. A common mistake that you might make is choosing an idea that you like but can't picture in your head very well. Alright, today I'm going to follow these steps. Number one, identify what the prompt is asking you to write about and brainstorm some ideas. Number two, write each idea in a web. And number three, play the movie in your mind for each idea. Choose the one that you can picture best. Okay, the first thing I need to do to start my planning is figure out what I need to write about. All right, so this prompt is asking me to come up with a middle and an end for this situation. So I'm going to brainstorm. So what are some things that could happen if I found a wooden box at recess? Hmm. So I'm going to put those ideas in this web right here. In the middle is going to be, we find a box then. That's our beginning. Let's see. What could I put in my web? Well, maybe right when I'm about to open it, a mysterious man shows up and takes it from us. So I'll write that down. Hmm, I want to come up with at least two more so I can really choose the best one. Uh, maybe we could open it and find buried treasure. We'd be famous as the youngest people to ever find treasure. I'll write that down too. And last, let's see. Oh. We could just find that it's empty. We could decide to put a time capsule in it. Hmm. Okay, so now that I have my, my ideas, I'll need to decide which one I should pick. All right, I'm going to do that by playing a movie in my mind of each idea. The one I'll choose is the one I can picture best with the most details. Okay, so here's my web again. So the first idea, you know, I'm having a lot of trouble picturing lots of details because I can't really think of what would happen after this mysterious man takes it. So I'm not going to do that one. All right, so the second one. Wow, I can picture opening up the buried, the buried treasure and being dazzled by all these jewels. I can also see how excited I'd be. This is definitely a possibility. OK, uh, so let's see. I'm trying to picture the last event in my head, but I really can't picture any sensory details that would be interesting to read about. I'm not sure what I'd put into a time capsule either. So I'll cross that one out too. All right, so I'm going to choose the buried treasure idea because I can picture it the best. I feel like this is the best idea that I have the most background knowledge about and can co could come up with lots of sensory details. So I'm going to circle that one. All right, did you see what I did? I followed these steps. Number one, identify what the prompt is asking you to write about and brainstorm some ideas. Number two, write each idea in a web. And number three, play the movie in your mind for each idea. Choose the one that you can picture best. Now, try this with your own writing.